In this video, I want to share with you 10 digital product idea for spiritual business coaches. So before we dive in, I just quickly want to make you aware this is a follow-up video. Currently, my business partner, Jessa Bellman, and I are running a free online challenge around uh, selling your first or next digital product. And I got the question about uh, what faith-based digital product ideas are in demand right now and uh, got lovely feedback and a follow-up question about um, I'm thinking how I could switch this up for the spiritual business coaching niche. So I promise to make a video about that. And that's basically this video in here. Okay, so I also wanted to use the opportunity in the last video where I was finding the faith-based product, I showed a little bit of the research process, right? And I don't want to reiterate just the very same thing in this video. I actually want to use it as the opportunity to teach something new. So what I want to teach you in this video is how to go about creating your product portfolio, may that be for an Etsy store or for a funnel offer suite based on buying personas and content themes. So what I really recommend is that you take the time to sit down and map out based on your experience a few buying personas for your products, right? So uh, it really pays off to put some thought into that. And when I think about spiritual business coaches, here are the buying personas that I was able to think about. So the first buying persona is the new age seeker. So this persona is interested in exploring spiritual and personal growth and is looking for guidance on how to incorporate those values into their business or career. They may be drawn to holistic approaches, mindfulness practices, and alternative healing modalities. Then we have the burnout busting entrepreneur. This person is overwhelmed and burned out from the demands of their business or career and is seeking ways to cultivate more balance and meaning into their work. They may be attracted to spiritual practices as a way to find peace and purpose in their daily lives. Immediately you can see that those are, although both are potential clients for a business, um, spiritual business coach, they will actually respond to a very different messaging and to a very different type of offer suite. Then we have the visionary leader. This person is successful uh, is a successful business owner or executive who is looking to take uh, their career or business to the next level. They may be interested in exploring spirituality as a way to tap into their inner wisdom and vision and to connect with a deeper sense of purpose in their work. Again, so this is slightly different. This is more from an angle of this is a high achiever, this is a visionary, and now they want to unfold their tr full potential unleashing their intuition and inner wisdom. Then we have the creative soul. So this persona could be a freelancer or an artist or somebody who has a small business, um, something, you know, maybe they, they create something with their hands and they're looking uh, to, some you know, somebody like a soap maker or candle maker or somebody who makes jewelry themselves. So they might be looking into infuse, um, they're looking to infuse their work with more spirituality and meaning. They may be drawn to coaching that helps them to tap into their creativity and authenticity and to align their work with their values and passion. So these are kind of the um, personas that came to mind. Based on what your personal story as a business coach is, you'll feel drawn to understanding one or the other buying persona more. But it's just good to think about them because then you can also think about what themes would come up in their life that I could help them with as a coach. So the themes that I identified that could be relevant content themes also based on search volume is uh, manifesting. So this includes techniques to, uh, and practices to manifest abundance, success, happiness, uh, and the techniques could be law of attraction, visualization, affirmations. Then we have mindfulness. This could include resources for cultivating mindfulness, such as guided meditation, mindfulness exercises, techniques for reducing stress and anxiety. Then we have personal growth. This could include resources for personal development, such as goal setting, personal branding, and developing positive habits and behaviors. Then we have holistic living as a theme. This could include resources for incorporating holistic practices into everyday life, such as yoga, um, healthy eating and natural remedies. Then we have spiritual practices. This could include resources on spiritual traditions and practices such as meditation, prayer, energy work, uh, work with crystals, uh, all kinds of rituals. Intuition and inner wisdom. This uh, 
could include resources for tapping into one's inner guidance and intuition, such as journaling, visual, visual, visualization, and dream work. Uh, then we have creativity and self-expression. This could include resources for nurturing creativity and self-expression, such as art journaling, writing prompts, and creativity exercises. And then we have purpose and meaning. And this could include resources for finding purpose and meaning in life, such, a, such as exploring your own core values, your passions, and your goals. So as you can see, we have a large variety of themes that can really well tie into uh, digital product creation for spiritual uh, business coaches. So uh, of course, I have done some research for you. And I want to show you based on demand and competition, what the first kind of product would be that I would go after, if that makes sense. So uh, here are a few ideas. We have um, mindfulness breathing cards. So here you can see these are very um, colorful. What I've also done is when it, when it comes to spiritual business coaching or in, in general to the spiritual niche, we have a very distinct design. So I also wanted to kind of show you that we can take product ideas from different areas of personal development and we can dress them in a spiritual design, right? Because ultimately they are part of spiritual practice for somebody who is open uh, to spiritual work and spiritual coaching, right? So when I, for example, think about the digital products we have in Secret Weapon, the Dream Life Visualization Journal, this could be a, a very spiritual product if it's dressed like that, right? The same is with the Beautiful Boundaries Journal. If you present it in this way, people that are interested in a spiritual niche and into spiritual coaching will have a much easier time to identify this product as relevant for them, right? So think about how can I also visually present it to be interesting, to be of interest for my buying personas, right? And the same is for the mindfulness, super important um, to incorporate in the spiritual practice. However, I wouldn't necessarily present it like that. I would go with a theme that fits my my audience better that resonates more with my audience and you can browse through etsy and you can find those themes i like to search for instagram template um, spiritual coach and then i'll see okay what patterns do come up time and time again here you can see there's a lot of purple there's a lot of uh, gradient there's a lot of gold and um, there are the colors of chakra and it's always this fine like line art that comes up time and time again, right? So uh, this is kind of, you also want to understand what type of visual um, presentation do I want? And uh, when you have a journal, you can also upload it for, ex or, you know, whatever product. These mindfulness breathing cards, for example, you can turn into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of different products. It can be always the same content, but the cards can just have a different look and feel, right? So which turns them automatically into a different product. And as we uh, talked about in a challenge today on Etsy, volume is the name of the game. If you're building out a cohesive funnel suite for as in a front end offer for your coaching services, where you work with your own website, your own funnels uh, and Facebook ads, for example, to drive traffic, I would pick one uh, brand identity here and build something out that has a cohesive, attractive design. So mindfulness breathing cards. The next uh, one that was standing out to me was actually we have, so I was using a tool called Inside Factory. We talk about it a lot in the challenge. And what I did here, I was coming to Etsy trend and then I was searching for mindfulness and I was sorting by competition. So what we look for as in sales signal is here a score of uh, eight plus. So here you can see nine listings on the first page had sales today and the competition should be lower than 1000. So this is why this is a good product, has good sales signal, uh, is in demand, has relatively low competition and it fits into your niche. 
right? Especially if you present it in that way. The next one was, um, hopefully I have it still open and didn't actually close it. Um, uh, so, man manifestation coach. So, let me just open up a new tab. Manifestation coach, I have, uh, interestingly enough, we have quite a bit of search volume and we have for the word manifestation coach, 12 sales and below 1,000 competitors. But what comes up here is a manifestation journal. So this means that there is still room. People are actually looking for manifestation coach. And here you can see one of the first results here is actually a one-to-one -one manifestation coaching uh, session, right? one-to-one -one manifestation, uh, personal coaching, life-changing. So so you can see that this looks like you can book a one-to-one -one session, if I understand that correctly. Um, also interesting price. Also interesting uh, shop. Here we can go into the past sales. So we can also see what's kind of selling here. But what I find really interesting is that coaches also use Etsy as a funnel in that sense. So that's really, I think, interesting. Uh, and something to consider because there's a high search volume for just manifestation coach. And as you can see, uh, sometimes, you know, a lot of this is uh, journals coming up, same day manifestation, this, this, and, and a lot of sessions actually, right? So I would look into uh, actually creating an offer here, a one-on-one -on -one offer for manifestation coaching, if this is something that you do. And in this way, you can use Etsy more directly as a funnel for your coaching. Now we have money manifestation journal. So where did I see this one? Money Manifestation Journal. Uh, it's a little bit low from the sales sequence, uh, signals, but still relatively low competition. And when I saw that, um, actually didn't look quite uh, like something we wouldn't be able to outperform. So now Money Manifestation Journal. Oh, here you can see this is uh, actually one of our secret weapon products. So I think this still has um, potential here. So it's something I would consider creating. Um, then we have self-love uh, self club poster. So you can see, I thought that was really cool. Um, Something that is not so, uh, that you wouldn't think of like first as a business coach is oh, a, a poster or a spiritual business coach, but it actually makes sense, right? Because um, you'll talk about topics like self-love, self-exploration, exploration, uh, showing up authentically as your true self. So uh, thinking about how you can also incorporate uh, downloadable prints like that especially if it's in a cohesive style and uh, something that resonates with your audience, could be a product that I would look into. And um, if this was for a shop, I would take it into consideration to offer a little bit of variety here. And as you can see, we have um, relatively low competition here. Then we have a guided meditation script. So I found these interesting uh, because meditation scripts is something you might already have if you're a spiritual business coach. And it's also a product where I, I think that you might be um, able to upsell coaching. So here you see guided meditation scripts. And also the way it's, it's presented, I think there's, there's still room for you. And you probably already have it, plus you can also use it with your coaching clients, 
that's something I would explore and maybe turn it into audio files as well for myself and also add them to the shop because if you have people that are looking for the scripts, they might also be interested in the audio um, files. Then we have uh, spiritual journal prompts. So you can see here we have very um, strong sales signal. So 17 listings on the first page sold today and competition is still relatively low. So spiritual journal prompts, I definitely go with that. And what's also super interesting, very high sales signals is spiritual business playbook. So um, I also love that 29 listings sold on the first uh, page today. So I think that's really good. Then we have Instagram post template spiritual, especially if you're a business coach, right? You and you have small business owners, um, then they also might be interested in social media marketing and they could use some spiritual uh, post templates. And because you are an expert in those topics, you'd actually have a competitive advantage creating the content for those templates, right? So you could actually go, for example, if you're a Secret Weapon member, you could come to all the templates that we have in here that you like from the layout. So let's say um, social media posts for, cor uh, for course creators. And you could think about infusing them with some of your content. Actually, what I think, uh, what's more content heavy is for example, We had those uh, done for you mental health, social media posts, and they from their layout can hold more content. So because you're an expert on those spiritual topics, you can uh, you had have, have an easier time actually filling those posts up. And I also think actually those mental health tips, uh, you mental health is a part right of spir uh, of spirituality as well. So you can see what in there you could also use for social media posts in that regard. You can use a template, you can use your um, competitive advantage of knowing about the content, knowing what to say, and create those spiritual social media posts. Instagram post template spiritual. Then what else did we have here? Spiritual business cards. That's interesting because uh, whenever in here we have an image that doesn't really correlate with the keyword, it means that there's still items selling, but people are not necessarily finding exactly what they're looking for. So this means with spiritual business cards, you might have some potential to, to grab a few more sales if you actually produce something that fits the keyword really well. Uh, then we had a uh, crystals and gemstone poster. I found that really interesting um, because again, it's, it's a little bit, um, it's something a little bit different than the average like journal, planner, Facebook post uh, or social media post templates. And here you can see 13 sales and competition below a thousand. And I also think you might be able to make that, make it prettier than that. And what I also think is cool is healing uh, crystals and the meaning. So healing crystals and the meaning, we have 23 sales. People are really interested in learning about crystals and their meaning. Here you can see um, competition is still relatively low. And then uh, we have a best life planner, 2023. So let me just see if I can. Find this here, here, best life planner. We have quite strong sales signal, Best Life Planner 2023, and relatively low competition. So I think that's right in alignment with um, visualization. And when we come back here into our secret weapon portal, just one second. Then you can see that um, we already have a product that you could fairly easily repurpose into this planner because this guided journal can easily be reframed and repositioned as a planner. 
and that already comes uh, with all areas of their life. So you can fairly easily turn this into a planner. So these are my suggestions, like as in products that I see trending. And what I would do is I would really think about who is it that I want to attract? How can I repurpose things that I already have created and, um, you know, dress them up? How can I create the products and uh, roll them out in multiple design variations? Then definitely add your coaching to the shop as well. So like in, in general, I would say um, cards, may that be mindful breathing cards, all kinds of affirmation cards, uh, all kinds of journal prompt cards. So if you look into that as well. And that can be printable. It doesn't have to be printed ones. So I think these are also like right down the alley. So all kinds of affirmation cards, mindfulness cards, journaling cards, printable might be really, really good. Manifestation coaching, uh, offer hourly sessions, maybe even a package in your shop. People are looking for it. Money manifestation journal, uh, money mindset is something you can definitely look into and you can also pull from money abundance journal here and of course also from like all the affirmation cards we have here. Then think about posters, may that be with crystals or about self-love. So um, posters are beautiful aids when it comes to visualizations and being reminded of what you want to do, which is why I think it's great for spiritual business coaches as well. Just one second. Sorry, I'm back. Um, all kinds of uh, guided uh, journals, shadow work journals, uh, journals with prompts, spiritual journals with prompts, guided meditations, the ones you already have, sell the script, sell the audio files, uh, would, will also help you to really create this cohesive product portfolio. The spiritual journal prompts as well as the shadow work journal prompts, spiritual business playbook, the spiritual business cards, the Instagram posts where you can come in with content and with designs that really resonate. Overall, you should think of, you know, uh, a few designs that you can reskin all the products in to just get into this uh, large quantity fast and uh, all kinds of um, life planners, right? So think about that journals can also be reframed into planners because you can use the the journal prompts and kind of put them as in this is not a journal prompt this is the question in a workbook right so uh, there's a lot that you can do in this niche and I think that's beautiful if I was to lay things out into a funnel I would very likely um, maybe go with some like something really powerful where I bundle up the the most desirable resources so what you what we saw was that um, we had really strong si sales signals around so let me just pull that up again sorting by competition here we had really strong sales signals around the spiritual business playbook the Instagram posts and the prompts, as you can see. So we want to have eight here um, or close to eight with while it's low competition. So if I was you, I would think about bundling those up into like a, a spiritual business bundle and say it's uh, your spiritual business prompts with your spiritual business playbook and your spiritual uh, content, social media content. So like an ultimate bundle. Then I would probably think about um, having the either the meditation scripts plus audios as an order bump. And then I would upsell into either my spiritual membership or one-to-one -one coaching from that. Because when, when we think about it in a funnel setting, we want to bundle our most desirable, most powerful items. And we want to ideally discount them heavily as the entry product because that will allow us to really really lower 
our customer acquisition cost. And the order bump and the one-click upsell will then add the profitability so that we're able to break even while acquiring a customer and everything, every piece of customer lifetime value generated after that is, you know, really going into um, generating profit for our business. All right, so I hope that this was insightful. And if you have any questions, then please drop them below. Thank you.